So for anyone that's been living under a rock, Black Panther was this super dope movie about a technologically advanced secret society in Africa known as the Wakandans. And they had some dope tech. Like, stuff that would be impossible by today's standards. But here are some ways that some of that dope tech actually could work. So number one, camouflage technology. The Royal Talon Fighter was one of the dopest pieces of tech in the movie. But one of the really cool things that it could do was camouflage on command. But this isn't completely impossible. Scientists in the UK discovered a way to change wave structures. Their surface wave cloak can make curved surfaces appear flat when they come in contact with electromagnetic waves. Kind of like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, but science. Maybe the government is already working on something like this. Number two, the energy absorbing suit. So in this hilarious brother sister moment, Shuri asks her brother T'Challa to kick the new Black Panther suit. The suit then absorbs the impact as potential energy. Once T'Challa kicks the suit again, the suit releases the kinetic energy it absorbed and sends T'Challa flying all over the table. And sure is recording the whole thing. A similar but obviously less advanced version of this technology is solar cells or photovoltaics. The solar cells absorb light energy or photons in the form of potential energy. They then funnel this energy to power other devices like batteries and cars and even small robots. The thing is, this technology is always getting more and more powerful. Maybe the Black Panther suit is ironically powered by the sun? Number three, remote piloting. So the Wakandans had this phenomenal ability to remote pilot vehicles from the other side of the planet. This is absolutely unreal. This means info had to travel from the pilot to that vehicle fast. As far as we know, the theoretical limit of the speed of things in the universe is the speed of light. 670,616,629 miles per hour. And this is still not fast enough to remote pilot a vehicle with zero latency. So how could this technology work at all? Hmm, maybe quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is this insane phenomenon where tiny particles communicate across great distances. It's real. Recently, a team of researchers in China literally teleported light particles from their station to a low orbiting satellite over 900 times in real life. Maybe an advanced version of this tech could make flying helicopters and space shuttles from home at Earth possible with zero latency. Number four, vibranium healing technique. When the colonizer, a CIA agent from America was shot, his wounds were healed through this Wakandan bead. He woke up in Wakanda to find himself miraculously healed overnight with this technology. This could be possible using an advanced version of nanites or nanotechnology to heal the body at a rapid pace. The prefix nano means one billionth. So a nanometer is something that is one billionth the size of a meter. Right now this has crazy modern applications like being able to heal our water, fight cancer, and make our cell phone batteries last significantly longer. Who knows what its future holds? Number five, discs that disable vehicles. In Black Panther, we saw discs placed on top of vehicles that would render them completely obsolete. They would no longer be able to be used. This could be possible using a very short range EMP field. EMP stands for electromagnetic pulse, and it's a real thing. Electromagnetic pulses are short bursts of energy that can be used to disrupt and disable electronics. Although real life versions usually have a much larger radius, the Wakandans figured out a way to micro-engineer the tech. Although CGI can make stuff look incredibly dope and impossible, our idea of what impossible is changes every single day. So who knows? Maybe in a decade or so, I'll be visiting my friends or family in a royal talent fighter.